Phantoms Anonymous. What's going on, people? Welcome to another episode of Phantoms Anonymous. We're here today to talk about something that's very near and dear to my heart. Um, the Carl Michael Show was canceled. We're just going to come out and talk about it. Um, I'm very upset about this. I'm very upset about this on so many different reasons. Uh, because this show was so inspirational to black culture as a whole and to America as a whole. This show took issues and that we see in everyday life from cheating to racial issues to not voting for president to uh, pregnancy to, you know, it took so many different uh, supporting the troops to uh, dealing with the loss of a parent. It took so many issues and brought it from a comedic standpoint, but also a standpoint where you understood what was going on in today's life. Now, uh, Gerard Carmichael, very talented comedian. You've seen him on a lot of different things, seen him on a lot of different shows. Um, he just walked away from the show. Now, a lot of stuff like this has been happening lately. Let's take a look at the Star Wars incident with the directors, Lord and Miller and Kathleen Kennedy over there, Lucasfilm slash Disney, whatever you want to call it. Lord and Miller were fired from the set of Han, fired from the Han and Solo project or movie because of the way they were handling the movie. From the get go, uh, the people over there at Lucasfilm knew what Lord and Miller were capable of. They've made movies like Cloud with a Chance of Meatballs, 21 Jump Street. So, a Star Wars movie is very serious. From the get go, Lord and Miller knew what, in, what um, Lucasfilm or Star Wars people in the Star Wars camp wanted. Now, I'm taking a look at NBC and Gerard Carmichael in the same instance. Gerard Carmichael is very outspoken. You can see it from his, these episodes of The Carmichael Show. And NBC is very poignant and known for dropping a show if something goes wrong that they don't like. There are so many countless NBC, so NBC shows that have been canceled. Heroes, Revolution, Constantine. So many shows NBC has gotten rid of based on small things. Now... It's a, it's a two-sided thing for me. Gerard Carmichael is very, 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 very poignant about the message that his show brings. So apparently there was an episode that was going to air the same day as a shooting where the shooting in Alexandria took place. Gerard Carmichael wanted this episode to still air. But NBC did not want the episode to air. Now, I'm going to speak on Gerard Carmichael's behalf. He wanted the episode to air even with what had taken place in real life because he wanted the conversation to get out there because even though you may not have been affected these are conversations that we should be having when it comes to mass shootings and things like this understanding what has happened understand how to deal with it understand how to feel about it because he felt like his show delivers a message and i wholeheartedly agree with him on that on the other hand we have to look at nbc major corporation just imagine if nbc had let that episode come out with that shooting that had just taken place. That would make NBC look bad. So I wish that there would have been something that had been worked out. I mean, um, air it the day after, air it the week after, combine it with however you want to do it. But Gerard Carmichael, based on the article I read, based on his interview that he did on Chelsea Handler's show, um, he did not want the episode to be pulled because he felt like it was a disservice to pull something. But it's an issue that needs to be talked about. For example, in my hometown of Mobile, Alabama right now, there have been multiple shootings within the last week. Domestic violence shootings, homicides, all type of shootings have gone on. And we need to have those type of conversations to know how to deal with that after it takes place. And I, I understand NBC and I understand Jamar, Jarrell Carmichael. He's passionate about his craft. He's very passionate about his craft. He's very passionate about what he has created. And I love it. I love watching that show because it, it takes a stand on things that we see every single day and gives us a comedic standpoint. But it also deals really hard with the issues. Seeing an everyday family, let alone an everyday black family, deal with these types of issues. So... I hate that this has happened. I'm 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 mad. I'm I'm not happy that the Carmichael show has been canceled. I really feel like something else should have been worked out. Something else should have been worked out with this other than just straight up just saying we're gonna cancel it.
I don't know what happened in that ballroom. I don't know what happened else that happened behind the scenes. But something else should have been worked out. This show should not have been canceled. I hope that they come back to the table. Gerard Carmichael, NBC, I'm charging you guys to come back to the table and, and, and rehash this out. Get an understanding of who each other are. Don't let this be a Lord and Miller and, and Lucasfilm Star Wars Disney situation where you're not getting an understanding of who each other are. They didn't do that. You have the opportunity to change that dialogue. Understand who Gerard Car NBC, understand who Gerard Carmichael is as a creator, a director, as a person, his beliefs, his passion for his work. And Gerard Carmichael, same time, understand NBC and the standpoint they have to take for everyday for everyday people and their big corporation. They're, you know, that conversation needs to be had. Um I'm, I'm 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 not happy about it. I'm not happy about it at all. I love this show. I've been watching season three since it came on. My I got my wife into this show. I noticed when I shared the post about the show being canceled that so many people were commenting saying that they love this show. So to those out there who love the Carmichael show, I hope that they can pull something together. I hope that they can bring bring this back in. I hope I hope I hope because. The, the what they do in the Carmack show needs to take place. NBC needs something like that because we're, the all the the there's so many medical police and crime shows that you can do. When I see NBC, that's all I can think of. Nothing but crime shows. <laughs> that's all I can think of when it comes to NBC. But what do you think about this news? What do you think about? Um, the Carmichael Show being canceled. I'm not happy about it at all. But if you're watching this on Facebook, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can go straight to, there's a link. It will be up there in the post. Hit the link. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you want to see more videos like this and more videos of what I do, not only just here on Facebook, but on my YouTube channel. Uh, for those of you who already or don't know who we are, we're Fandoms Anonymous. That's F-A-N-D-O-M-S-A-N-O-N-Y-M-O-U-S. We're all over social media. We're right here on Facebook. Well, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel you as well for YouTube. Uh, join the Facebook group where we have discussions each and every single day. Hit the like on the Facebook fan page. Head over there to Instagram where we're at fandoms underscore anonymous 17 and just follow all of what we do. We do some amazing stuff. We do some amazing videos. We do interviews. We do podcasts. We do conversations. All types of different things. Not just stuff like comic books and movies. We have conversations like this. So, Please join us in what we do. Please support. Please share this video with at least three of your friends because this is this call micro show did not need to be canceled. But guys, as I always say, if there is anything else, thanks for watching and have a good one.